All right, so here she is. Hey everybody, it's Adam with E is for EV, and we have a special treat for you. You haven't seen a ton of me on the channel because I'm actually behind the camera most of the time. But today, we're gonna take a look at a brand new Tesla Model Y. Can't wait to show you. All right, so here they are side by side, and I'm gonna trade mine for this one. Okay, so you saw me do the Tesla app. Let's uh, let's hop in. Tesla Model Y. I'm buckled up and reverse. All right, we're driving. Getting used to the one pedal driving. It's definitely something to get used to. It will stop your car immediately that's something to learn and nothing in front of you definitely something to learn there too i'm on music right now and so we'll phone and then streaming karaoke tune in settings and then down below i got some more stuff i can look at can we set the cruise at at, at 38 sure can boy that was easy it's kind of sad that I want to get in the car and as soon as I figure out how to drive it I want to let it drive itself but that's kind of why we're here let's see what it'll do I'm, I'm barely touching the gas Wow okay the silence is kind of I mean I have the clarity and it's this is more silence than that be making a lot of comparisons to the Clarity and when I say the Clarity it means my 2018 Honda Clarity plug-in hybrid which I drive in electric mode almost exclusively except long trips you can check some of those out on the channel I'll link them in the description the blinker is a lift so you pull you push up on it but it doesn't stay stay there and then it quits. Okay, so that's something to learn. Let's let's hit it. Oh, gee. Okay, that's more acceleration than any human ever needs. Um, navigate on autopilot. Let's see what it does. Here we go. First time, giving it a shot. This model has full self-driving, so we're gonna see what that does. So it just merged itself into the lane there. I didn't do that. It's going the speed limit, 70 miles an hour. Getting close to the exit. Let's see what she does. Okay, exit ramp. There she is. I'm just gonna let it do whatever it decides to do. Is it taking the exit? Yeah, I didn't do that. It put the blinker on. It took the exit, it's slowing for me. It's changing its max speed. I get a little ding there. But I haven't I haven't done anything. I've done absolutely nothing. I don't want to go to that and I want to do it. So let's see what it does now. This is insane. Alright, so I just tried to dodge a pothole and it came out of autopilot. It does, um, it is doing the driving for me though. I don't, I'm not using the uh, accelerator or anything else. It is doing that. I have Honda Sensing in my Clarity 
it is no way near what this can do. The traffic sensitivity in front of you is, I, it might be a hundred times better. This level of confidence I have, I, I've been in the car for nine, ten minutes. The level of confidence I already have in its ability to adaptive cruise through the city, I, it's unbelievable. This is the future. I am driving the future. There's no question about that. We're gonna make this turn here. And then auto steer. Everything's on. Oh, it saw the person. There was a person. It saw him. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. This now the lane's just widened up a little bit. We have a steep turn coming up. Let's see how it handles that. 500 feet. Turn left to stay on Richwood Avenue. It's handling. It's handling it. Definitely handling it. All right. Impressive. Okay. Now turn left to stay on Richwood Avenue. I'm gonna hit the left thing and then let's see what it does. Coming to a stop for me. All right, and then I just, I tapped the accelerator very lightly, but it did not make the turn. So the turning's only gonna be on the beta. Feet, your destination will be on the left. Made too, I've watched too many videos of the, of the full self-driving beta is what my problem is. I'm watching it make left turns. Corrective steering applied for my safety. So it doesn't like where I drive in the lane. So this is the Tesla Model Y. And uh, I'm just an absolute fan. Just the way it drives. You can't anticipate the way it drives. It's a large vehicle. Like, I'm six feet tall. It, it sits up tall. You might worry about things. Like the glass. You might think the glass would be a problem. It's not. The sun is out. You cannot tell inside the vehicle. Your door handles are different. You're not going to get a standard feel from the door handle, but... They work perfectly. The tires are huge. Um, Continental cross contact. Looks like a uh, 255-45-19. This is probably the way to go if you live in a part of the country that isn't easy to drive in. This is West Virginia. Totally not easy to drive in. The trim is in extremely good shape. That's uniform, and it seems to be uniform with this one. Also, this one looks really uniform. Maybe some of these issues that people were having were with the really early models. There's a button to close your lift gate. Boy, that's nice. Space is great. Let's take a look at the back seat. It's pretty roomy. Let's take a seat here. See what we got. So I'm six feet tall. I didn't move the seat and headroom looks good. Yeah, really comfy back here. Plenty of space. Huge fan. Let's see what else. Uh, USB-C looks like in the back seat. Nice. Just for giggles, let's open the charge port. Pretty slick. And remember, I don't even have a key. This is sweet. All 
are these okay so there's your dome light visibility is great it has brake hold as soon as you get to a place and you're stopped it holds the brake the acceleration I'm, I'm scared to pr I'm scared to actually press down on the pedal I'm very scared to do it I haven't even gotten a quarter of the way yet this thing is so comfortable the bumps don't feel like bumps it's really just absolutely amazing to be honest so I got navigate on autopilot turned on we're pulling onto the interstate here this will be one of the only opportunities for me to kind of give it the beans now the beans that's scary that's absolutely scary all right so that was fun so this little blue area here um, looks like when you're taking your you're not putting any pressure on the wheel then it's going to tell you that you got to do that it says it's preconditioning the battery for fast charging i don't need to do that but i don't know if i can stop it yeah i guess i pressed that and it stopped that's cool I did type in supercharger and that's all I needed to type. That was cool too. I'm heading back to uh, turn the car in back to the dock. But boy, this has been a fun day. Final thoughts on the Tesla Model Y. I'd say the biggest thing is that it's not that big. It is so much smaller than it feels. I promise you that. So much smaller than it feels. Uh, the speed is, I'm, I never got the, the gas pedal or the accelerator. I never got it down um, more than halfway. And that was more power than I'll ever need and have ever experienced in my life. So if you haven't experienced one, take the fastest you've ever gone and double it. That's what you're working with acceleration wise. Now, obviously, We've all driven faster than that. I would recommend this vehicle as a daily commuter to anyone. Wind noise is noticeable. It's definitely there. There is wind noise. But uh, nothing to write home about. The roof, anybody concerned with the roof, uh, really is not a valid concern. As bright as it is today, I've experienced no glare, nothing like that it just feels like a regular roof you just happen to be able to see through it the navigate on autopilot is flawless on the interstate the adaptive cruise in town is the way to go uh, it's not ready for city streets yet of course this is not the beta um, but it is not ready because if you're dodging potholes you're just gonna disengage it all the time so I don't recommend using that inside the city all right so back in the clarity and just some more final thoughts on the Model Y. So if you really want to go on the top tier bleeding edge of tech, there's no other way but Tesla. And I'll, I'll tell you right now, the Honda Sensing Suite in this, excellent. I mean, super excellent, but does not hold a candle to what the Model Y can do. Not even competitive. And another feature I didn't even get to try because it isn't set up yet in this new vehicle. That's how new that thing is was sentry mode that's another thing to keep you completely safe and at least peace of mind knowing that if something happens you'll know about it well, that's going to be it make sure you check out our vw build on ease for ev we got a 74 bus subscribe to the channel you won't regret it we're going to talk a lot more about evs in the coming weeks and months um, so many more discoveries to be made and we don't want to miss any of them. But today was very special. My first time driving a Tesla. And you got to be here for it. I appreciate you tuning in. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.